right? Next, gas density and molar mass. We are going to derive the computation for molar mass of a gas. And I'm actually going to derive it from Pivner. Okay. So going to do that. Pivner. One set of conditions. Keep in mind, little sidebar here, since the molar mass of any compound is equal to the mass over moles, then the number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass, which isn't anything spectacular. So, a little substitution here, and I put mass over molar mass in for my N. Do a little changing around. Little manipulation here to solve for molar mass then would be the mass times RT divided by pressure and volume, that's just algebra, mass to volume ratio is density, so the molar mass of any gas can be calculated from the gas's density, our good buddy R, temperature in Kelvin because of R, and pressure in atmospheres because of R. Density of a gas is measured. It's at 1.5 atmosphere, 27 degrees Celsius, found to be 1.95 grams per liter. Density given. Calculate molar mass and identify it. All right. I'm actually going to do this two ways. Way number one, what I just taught you. The molar mass of a gas is equal to DRT over P. Plug in what you need. Density is given, and it's in grams per liter, which is good because R is in liters. times temperature in kelvins divided it all by pressure which was given in the right units because there's an R. If you do the math you get 32.0 grams per mole which is of course oxygen gas 16 and 16. There's way number one. Way number two just use Pivnert number of moles, pressure times volume over RT. Pressure is given. My volume must be one liter because its density is 1.95 grams for every one liter. So I'm obviously dealing with one liter of the gas. Same R. and temperature in Kelvin. Do the math and you get 0 0.0609 moles of this mystery gas. Well, molar mass, the definition of molar mass is the mass of the gas over the number of moles 
it tells me that the mass of the gas is 1.95, because it's still 1.95 grams for every one liter. I have 1.95 grams, and I have 0 0.0609 moles, and I get 32.0 grams per mole, which is still oxygen. Last example. What is the volume of one mole of a gas at STP? STP is standard temperature and pressure. which correlates to zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. I'm going to use PIVNERT. This is one set of conditions. And one mole, let's see, I'm going to find volume of one mole at STP. So one mole, same R as always. Temperature is 0 degrees, 273. Pressure is 1 atmosphere. Do the math, and you get 22.4 liters. This is actually a conversion factor you have been exposed to in first year chemistry. At STP, 1 mole of gas is 22.4 liters.